Konnichiwa, Mina-san. Ruby des. I've seen two tutorials for rehairing a cam monster high that has a uh, hard plate in her head. And I liked the one, but I have a modification to it. Um, and I'm not going to argue with um, Retro Dolls US version because I had actually considered doing that because this thing was really difficult to take out. But um, with the magical tool use of a screwdriver, I was able to actually pop it out. So it's actually loose right now. In the other tutorial I read, she took a... I don't think it was a video. I think I actually did read it. She took a, a piece of rubber cut out from a gas mask? I think that's what it was. In order <laughs> to fill in and then hair that. However, I have a different material that I really enjoy using for multiple things. This is Lumina Clay. It comes in a package like this. My camera's all wonky and sideways and set up and I'm not moving it, so you just have to read sideways. I love it is it's air dry, it's polymer, and flexible. This is dry. This has actually been dry for a couple of days. Um, but it's completely flexible. And paintable. And it's something I use um, a lot of times in pieces of jewelry. This is a necklace I'm working on for one of my daughters. It's a snake. There's the uh, the eye to put it on the necklace. and nice and flexible and usable. Um, and I actually tried this out and my herring tool goes through it pretty easily even without, normally I poke holes in my vinyl with a push pin in order to prep it. But my herring tool actually goes through pretty easily without that, which is nice. Um, so what I'm doing today is now that I have successfully decapped her, I'm going to take my cap and draw a bit of a template onto my Lumina so I can hopefully get this cut to the right size. This is my first time doing this and I'm recording it so I'm sort of a fool. Air LeMay, put it away! You'll excuse me but my daughter is getting into things she didn't ask for. And we're going to cut this out nice and simply. I could use my knife, but I'm actually going to use my scissors. This stuff is so easy to work with. And like I said, this is set. This is as soft as it's going to be and as hard as it's going to be the rest of its life. So I'm just cutting out my circle. Let's see if it fits. Hey, it's a pretty good fit. It's kind of flat, not round like a head, but she's going to have hair in it anyway. And I actually reroute really thick, so it's um, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I don't think anyone's going to notice that it's flat. Just going to trim some edges here. So it fits in there just a little bit better. And now all I really have to do is glue it into place. But I think what I want to do is um, I think I'm going to actually reroute her, um, reroute everything but this. And then before I do that, I'm going to make sure I draw my guidelines. I always draw guidelines when I'm rerouting into something that doesn't currently have guidelines. So I will probably draw in my guidelines on this and then actually root it separately and glue it into place after rooting it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, for an idea of how thick I reroute and how I reroute something that doesn't have guidelines. This is a standard G4 head, but he certainly has a lot more hair than your standard fourth generation pony. And I root very thickly. And this is all monofiber hair uh, sold by Retro Dolls US. And um, I absolutely love this stuff. It's soft and silky. 
and it roots really, really well. I've noticed that it's a little finicky if you have a hole that's too wide, but if you're rooting um, thick like I do, and if you're rooting in brand new holes and not manufactured holes, it sticks really well. Um, another example of how thickly I root is this lovely little girl. And up here up front, she only has um, black, but she'll be getting more as soon as my, the rest of my hair comes in. Uh, I changed my mind about which colors, and so I got in the colors I ordered, and then I ordered another color. But here, between her two manufactured rows of hair, I actually have four more rows. Four? Four more rows. So she actually has six rows of hair. And uh, so I don't think this is going to be a problem. Um, actually, technically, he already has a cap because I took his horn off. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I took his horn off and I already rerouted his cap with the monofiber. I don't foresee any problems with this and I've been a big advocate for the Lumina polymer clay since I ordered it uh, for the first time. I think I ordered it over the summer and I've used it on a lot of little tiny projects. I've used it in some jewelry and uh, I just think it's overall a rather useful product, especially if you need something air dry and something flexible. So thank you for watching my video. Have a good night.